As we journey in this time of Easter, we are privileged to witness and to share the various resurrection stories. We see the many ways in which Jesus makes his presence known and consoles his disciples. We notice that he meets each one of them at their place of greatest need and vulnerability, calling Mary by name in the garden of the tomb, restoring Peter on the beach after his denials by inviting him to speak out his love, breaking bread with the disciples at Emmaus. But not only are there other signs that Jesus worked that were not recorded, but the risen Jesus continues to work signs now in our own lives. If we take time to notice and to become attentive to what is happening in our lives, we may discover a story of the risen Jesus encountering us right now in this Easter season. For many of us, this pandemic has been a time of grief, unsettledness, and for some, even despair. Each of us has particular areas of struggle and vulnerability, and it is there that Jesus will meet us. It might happen through an encounter with a friend or the kindness of a stranger. It might be the sheer magnificence of a sunset that profoundly touches us. Let us pay attention this week to our own resurrection moments, our personal encounter with the risen Christ. We will know when we have had an encounter with the risen Christ because there will be a sense of deep peace and joy. And we will know because that experience will spill over and touch others around us. While it might be intensely personal, an experience of the risen Christ is never for us alone, because its effects make us more fully the person that we are called to be in the world. And as the resurrection encounters of the first disciples transform them, our moments of encounter will transform us too. Let's consider, can you remember an encounter that you have had with the risen Christ? And this week, could you be attentive to seeking to recognize the risen Christ in your life and story in these Easter days?